Hey guys, what's going on? It's FoxeroG, and today we're going to be talking about the Cold War MP5. Now, this gun is hitting a lot harder, and it's more accurate than the hip fire MP5 for Modern Warfare. Plus, most the reason why most people are running this gun is because the movement speed on this gun is incredibly high, as well as it has a good TTK with the headshot bonus that you get from this gun. As well, if you are playing on the sticks, that aim assist is probably the most stickiest I've ever seen because it just locks onto your target. Also, be sure to hit the like button. All right, let's look at the setup for this gun. Also, be sure to like the video, share with a friend. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that sub button. It's free, helps me out. Thank you very much. Now, let's go get it. All right, how you want to set up your Cold War MP5 is you want to be running the suppressor, sound suppressor, because that gives you bullet velocity as well as sprint to fire, aim down sight speed, which is very good, as well as sound suppression, so you're no longer on the mini map. You can go with the agency suppressor, but you are running into that aim down sight speed being a negative, as well as the vertical recoil control. So this is why we go with the aim down sight as well as the uh, sprint to fire with the sound suppressor. Next up, you wanna go with the task force so that'll give you strafe speed as well as bullet velocity and effective damage range. Now, for an underbarrel, you wanna go with the bruiser foregrip because it's gonna give you that movement speed. Like I said, it's gonna be a quick build. You're gonna be moving a lot as well as hip fire accuracy. And then you wanna go with the 50 round drum. That gives you more than enough bullets to kill more than three people. And then you can run the Tiger Team Spotlight, which also gives you increased movement speed as well as the aiming walking movement speed. So that is how you would set it up. You could also, in, instead of running the Tiger Team Spotlight, you can probably run the Raider Stock or something like that if you're trying to take the one-on-one -on -one up close range. All right, that is it for this week's video on the Cold War MP5. I'm Fox Zero G. This is the MP5 that you should be running in Verdansk. See you in the new batch.